I'm on part three of my cab today and uh, just off camera what I've been doing I've boxed it up with some scrap wood just to, f to fill it in and make, make it rigid because otherwise you know it's got no structure and then what I want to do just been marking this out off camera and uh, I've got no specific measurements from a drawing I've just made this up out of my head I just sketched it on this piece of paper and marked it out onto onto side of cab well what I've done I've centre popped it and then I've gone in with a 16th drill right in the corners where I want my radius to be so I'm, I'm effectively just putting a a larger centre pot marking with that 16th drill <clears throat> and then what I'm going to do I would have I would have liked to have done this in my milling machine but my milling machine it's just not got the capacity capable of doing this and like I've said many times in past in my videos you don't need a milling machine to do this loco you just need a lathe and a milling attachment so I'm not going to I've just tried it in my milling machine and it will actually fit but I've got very very limited space for clamping it uh, the traverse I'm going to have to keep moving it round setting it up so I might have a go at one side in milling machine and then do other side in uh, manually like I'm going to show you now so I've decided to put a 5 8 radius in this cut in each corner and I'm just going to go through with this step drill down to the 5 8 mark Uh, by hand, I may just open those holes up a fraction so, it, so it's got a better start and then once I've got all my radius my radiuses in I'm going to use my jigsaw with a metal cutting blade in and then just run up them lines just inside the lines and then uh, file it out so watch this space and we'll see what happens Right, that's my jigsaw and finished. Um, I'm going to set it up now to do the fight. I'm going to file it all now 
to, to down to the line and uh, the, then we'll have when I get it set up we'll have another look at it uh, I think I've just got to maneuver the wood round a bit solid as I can I'm going to leave this wood in for support and I'm going to file it all down to the line now and then I'll probably in, in stages I'll have to move this wood around to get to various parts so let's have a, an hour's filing shall we I think that's it for this part then uh, yeah everything's cut out fine now I've done the back windows just the same process with the radius in the corner um, and basically I think that's basically everything cut out now so my next job then on my next part will be to um, uh, get all the brackets fitted etc ready for the hand rails and the roof etc etc uh, can't fit the front windows in yet because uh, it's got to be painted and I ain't decided on what I'm going to do with the edges yet so uh, I think that's it then for now I'm going to sign off for now then uh, if you've not seen my other videos of this building this loco from scratch take a look at them and if not I'll catch you on my next video thanks for watching then bye for now